Hey everyone. So I'm working up the final stages of the turbo and the 1025R. And one of the things that you've got to do is get the oil flow right to the turbo. And what I've got here is just a brass fitting. And it so happens that I'm using this 1 8 inch pipe thread uh, fittings in order to feed the, the turbo and then it'll drain out from a, a different side, which, which ultimately is larger. But one of the things I need to do is restrict the oil flow that goes to the turbo. And, and you can do, they, they make restrictors uh, that you can buy, but depending on the plumbing you're using, uh, it may not be as easy to find. You may have to find different versions of it. So what I'm doing is making my own. And when I get when I get it nailed down, then I'll look for an off-the-shelf fitting. I won't be making these if I don't have an off-the-shelf fitting that's perfect for the 1025 or other models. Then uh, ultimately I'll have it made. So let me take you through uh, what I'm doing here. Now this is just this is brass, and to find something one eighth that is like this, you can get steel, uh, and, and I could weld it up. But it's a lot easier just to go to the hardware store and get these in brass. And since we're talking oil pressure, brass is fine. Um, I've got some silver solder uh, flux here with some silver solder, which is actually what you have to use. This is, this is actually quite expensive solder for hydraulic fittings, so it's very tough. And so um, all I'm going to do is, is add some flux here so that we can get some cleaning and some adhesion. I'm actually going to pull it off the threads here, but, and then light up my torch. And when you're soldering, let's see if I can get a good, a nice neutral flame, which is this, as you can see here, this is called the feather. So if you want an oxidizing flame, comes down to here. If you want a reducing flame, it gets out to here, but neutral, roughly neutral flame. And all we're going to do is heat this up with my flux here and see, I haven't done this before, we'll see if we can just uh, close this hole up and then I'll drill a hole in it using a, a very small drill bit. So. When you're doing soldering like this, you put the flux on here, it'll look like it dries up, almost like it's powdery. And then right after that, you'll know it's hot enough when it starts to, to wet itself back out. Let's see if I can get this to cooperate. And flux or solder will, not solder, this is brazing, silver solder, but I consider it brazing because it's hot enough. So that's it. Turn off my flame here and don't grab that without a glove. But effectively what I've done, so pretty hot, is close that up to a point where I can take a drill bit. Ooh, my MIG gloves aren't quite big enough or hot enough for this. Come on. There we go. I'll take a bit like this. This is a number uh, 74, which is about 0.6 millimeters. Right now I'm running a one millimeter. Um, you know, that's, that's probably gonna be about right, but I wanna take it down just a bit and see how it reacts and then uh, decide what's the final, final version. And I thought I'd give you just a little bit of info on, the, on how the, the turbo's coming along. I think uh, where I'm at at the moment uh, the, probably be done with everything in January and, and could see these things uh, in market, I would say as early as March, but I'm confident in May, put it that way. So, hope you're as excited as I am. Thanks for watching. Questions, comments, leave them below.